we were prepared to just figure out how to do life with with me not being independent anymore and and now we don't have to i describe her as the dog that i got so i could begin living again Um, my name's Becca. I have something called hemiplegic migraines. I began experiencing per almost full paralysis. Um, couldn't speak. Um, couldn't have enough strength to get off the couch. My whole right side would be paralyzed. Once I became chronic, they were pretty much constant. For me, independent life looked like it was kind of going to stop. Um, a dream that I had one night um, that I feel like was from the Lord um, pretty quickly led me to you. So as I start researching, I joined all of these different service dog pages on Facebook and everywhere I looked under the migraine groups, it was Service Dog Academy, Service Dog Academy, Service Dog Academy, Service Dog Academy. I went back years. As an eight-week-old puppy, less than 48 hours later, she gave me her first precursor type of alert. I can leave the house again. I can go to the grocery store and not be scared that I'm going to get stuck. I can drive further than, you know, a 10 or so mile radius from the house now. We, me and my girls and Atlas, we went on a road trip. We went to um, Florida, which is like an eight mile drive, eight mile, eight hour drive from here. Um, so eight hours away, just no, no other adult to be there just in case something happens to Becca. Um, and that's something that I didn't even dream we'd be able to do again. She started alerting other people really early. She's also alerted to um, to some people with POTS, some heart rate issues. Um, she alerts me now when my heart rate is going up and my blood pressure is dropping. So she lets me know. So she gives me a POTS alert um, and other people. She's let some people know when, um, when their potassium is going down if they have potassium issues. She's done the same. My youngest has migraines as well. She has, she was two. Um, and Atlas alerted her. 45 minutes later, she had a migraine set in, but it never got to the throwing up writhing point that evening. I, I thought it was a blessing and that you should have charged me more. <laughs> um, what you give is, um, is invaluable. It just doesn't make sense why you don't charge more for that class. And it's not just the class. You also have that support there to have someone watch you, to have someone care. Or when you feel defeated and you don't just have some instructor going read the syllabus, you have Mary who's there to pick you up. She's going, okay, what's going on? I'm here to help you. I want your dog to be successful. life-giving. I describe her as the dog that I got so I could begin living again. We were prepared to just figure out how to do life with with me not being independent anymore and, and now we don't have to. For example, um, right now Atlas alerted me about an hour ago. So this is about the worst that it gets these days. I am getting alerts every day. Um, but again, thankfully because of because of her, the majority of them were just like this right here once I take her medication. She is. She had no fear. We can already go into a restaurant with no problem. We go out to eat all the time. I can take her shopping with me. She goes grocery shopping with me. She is a fantastic dog. From the time they're tiny, they're being prepared for us. They're being stimulated and exposed to sounds and noises and 
toys and things that, that jump and things that move. And when I took Atlas to her puppy class, the level of bravery that she had was massive compared to all the other dogs there. And all the other dogs there were way older than her. My favorite thing about the class was, was you um, and the sport. But knowing that we were going to have that Q&A time at the end. Of course I would. There, There's so many fears around getting a service dog. If somebody's coming to get a service dog, it's because life's already kind of kicking us in the teeth. We don't want to then be taken advantage of um, after spending all this money and be heartbroken for not getting the help that we need. So knowing firsthand that I know a place where it wasn't scary is a great thing. I'm a believer and everything about me and my family is around, around the Lord and around where he leads and where he guides. And from the beginning, we knew that this was this was what we were, this was, this was our way out. This was our way towards, towards living again. Um, the whole thing's just been worth it.